Hello Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for the Scrap Room to share with you this layout created using the Pink Fresh Studio Sunshine on My Mind collection in the August Flavors of the Month kit. So I'm going to show you, you get three pattern papers if you subscribe to the Flavors of the Month kit. And you can see I have fussy cut a flower from that. You also get this page with these great florals and I have fussy cut some of the leaves from that as well as this lovely grid and that pink um, on the background. You also, if you subscribe, get two pieces of um, that cardstock and a digital cut file. I have amended the digital cut file um, created by cut to you specially for subscribers as well as some embellishments. So for the embellishments you are going to get some um, ephemera which is going to vary as well as part of a sticker sheet which I have there and a row of enamel dots which will also vary in color. If you get the pattern paper add-on these are the papers that um, coordinate with this particular kit as well as if you get the embellishments, you will get um, those puffy stickers or the blues. So I have three photos here um, that are of my family. <laughs> um, some are funny, sort of they're, they're the takeouts of, um, as well as the, the well, the nicer of the two. So I thought that maybe I would cut out summer and put sunny summer days with you with summer overlapping, but I, I didn't really like that, but I definitely wanted some yellow um, to pop some color. And I wasn't sure whether I wanted to just go on a white background um, or the grid background, or if I wanted to put a little bit more color in it and use the digital cut file on this particular piece of pattern paper. However, if I did that, um, then I wasn't going to have the grid, which is what I would have wanted to have put on there. So I'm kind of shuffling things around, trying to figure out what it is that I want to do. Do I want to use the pattern paper in the background to frame it? But if I do that, then I have less room and I really need the vertical height of um, the 12 by 12 for all of those pieces of, or all of those pictures there. So you can see even if I put a footer or a header, it still is pretty crammed in there. Um, and so I turn that piece to be a vertical down the side with the horizontal strips going across. And that works nicely with the horizontals of the horizontal photo. But I still want to get a little bit more of the pattern paper in there because it feels um, very dominant to the left because of the color of our shirts and the shadows as the sun is setting. So um, by getting more pattern, I'm able to get a little bit more weight distributed across the page. So I decided to use an envelope die. So this is from Spellbinders. Um, and I am going to uh, just obviously piece it together so that I actually have the envelope. And I know that I'm going to put something in there that's going to cover up those uh, blue triangles that are competing with the horizontals. It just kind of weird. So I use one of the stickers um, that is part of my ephemera collection. And I'm going to back it in white because I want to be able to remove it on the off chance that I want to put journaling behind it. Um, I'm not sure at this point what I'm going to do, but I definitely want to back it. So I'm going to trim just a fine white border around that. And then I'm going to figure out where all these bits and pieces go. There isn't a lot more room, um, but I know I want some other flowers to complement the flowers that I have fussy cut. I can't fussy cut any more flowers because they're pretty big. Um, and that, that was just going to be too much. So I pull the florals from my ephemera. Um, and I know I don't want that red because there's only that it would have been the only red in there. And I like to have at least two, ideally three of colors um, to somehow create a visual triangle if I'm not using three of the same thing. So um, I know this is where I want my photos and I know that is where I want the digital cut file. So I'm going to go ahead and um, adhere all of that down, then work around those pieces to create a little bit more balance with the elements that I have. So um, metal tip in liquid uh, adhesive, it makes great for these fine lines of um, digital cut files. So I'm going to now speed 
speed glue <laughs> um, through this because it does take a little bit of a while to get most of the surface so that it does stick nicely to the page. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that down and just put it directly onto the page without putting any mixed media or anything behind it because I really want it to be visible. Um, and because it's on the grid, I could do more with it by journal within it or put embellishments in it um, to make it a little bit more visually interesting. So I decide that no, I'm not going to pull that card out because I want you to be able to read the hello. Um, and the card kind of has to go with the hello up the top here because sunny days with you hello doesn't flow, right? But hello, sunny days with you does flow. So that is why that card goes up there with the envelope. Um, and then I have a visual triangle of florals. They are not the same, but you can see how that triangle there guides your eye um, around the page and creates the movements there. I am going to pop this particular one up just for a little bit of dimension. And I feel like that is the only... it. The yellows work, right? But I need a little shot of blue. So I'm going to pull out those blue leaves and put those on the right hand side there. Um, but I still feel like I need a third shot of blue. So you'll see off camera, I do use a similar color pen and I journal within, I believe it's the D and then I put the date um, up further. And so it ties that in and it doesn't stand out quite like a sore thumb. So this is a layout that I have created for the scrap room. It is a kit club. So um, you can find out information for subscription down in the description box down below. These are the close-ups. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you are doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.